Hi, this is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the previous lesson, we learned the chemical degradation of cephalosporins. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this lesson, we shall discuss on the beta lactamase inhibitors. Beta lactamases are a family of enzymes involved in bacterial resistance to beta lactam antibiotics. They hydrolyze the amide bond in the beta lactam ring and prevent the active drug from reaching the target penicillin binding proteins. Over 340 beta lactamases have been described and are classified according to their substrate profile and susceptibility to inhibit by clavulanic acid or by molecular weight and genetic determinants. Strategies for combating this form of resistance have included in the development of new beta lactam antibiotics that are more resistant to cleavage and the development of the class of enzyme inhibitors called beta lactamase inhibitors. Although beta lactamase inhibitors have little antibiotic activity of their own, they prevent bacterial degradation of beta lactam antibiotics and thus extend the range of bacteria the drugs that are effective against. Inhibition of beta lactamases potentiates beta lactam activity. The preferred inhibitors are irreversible or suicide inhibitors which inactivate the enzyme for extended periods and so prolong the effective life of the beta lactam ring. Three suicide inhibitors are currently licensed for clinical use in combination with specific beta lactam antibiotics. These are clavulanic acid, sulbactam and tazobactam. Inhibitory efficiency can be measured by determining the number of inhibitor molecules required to inhibit one molecule of enzyme that is the higher the number the less it is effective. Commonly used beta lactamase inhibitors. Currently marketed beta lactamase inhibitors are not sold as individual drugs. Instead, they are co-formulated with a beta lactam antibiotic with a similar serum half-life. This is done not only for dosing convenience but also to minimize resistance development that might occur as a result of varying exposure to one or the other drug. The main classes of beta lactam antibiotics used to treat gram-negative bacterial infections include penicillins, third generation cephalosporins and carbapenems. Individual beta lactamase variants may target one or many of these drug classes and only a subset will be inhibited by the given beta lactamase inhibitor. Beta lactamase inhibitors expand the useful spectrum of these beta lactam antibiotics by inhibiting the beta lactamase enzymes produced by bacteria to deactivate them. Beta lactamase inhibitors with beta lactam core. Tebipinem is the first carbapenem to be administered orally in the form of tebipinem pyroxyl. Structural and kinetic studies of tebipinem is available with mycobacterium tuberculosis beta lactamase. Clavulanic acid usually combined with amoxicillin known as augmentin or ticarcillin known as timentin. Augmentin is given either by oral or parenteral route and timentin is administered parenterally. Sulbactam usually combined with ampicillin or cifoperazone and is administered either orally or parenterally. Tazobactam usually combined with piperacillin and is given parenterally. Beta lactamase inhibitors with diazabicyclooctane core. Avibactam approved in combination with ceftazidime currently undergoing clinical trials for combination with ceftaroline. Relibactam used in combination with imipenem or silastatin. Beta lactam inhibitors with other types of non beta lactam cores. For example, Vabarbactam used in combination with miropenem, which has a boronic acid core. Beta lactamase producing bacteria. Bacteria that can produce beta lactamases include but are not limited to Staphylococcus, Enterobacteriaceae, Haemophilus influenza. Neisseria gonorrhea, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The majority of gram negative bacteria, Staphylococci, Enerobes, and even Mycobacteria produce beta lactamases, while Streptococci, Pneumonococci, and most Enterococci do not. 
as they could be encoded chromosomally or by plasmids, wide distribution of resistance ensures. Beta lactamases produced by anaerobes, particularly from bacteroids and fusobacterium species, are also susceptible. Mechanism of action of beta lactamase inhibitors Beta lactamase inhibitors work by one of the two following mechanisms. Number one, they may become substrates that bind the beta lactamase enzymes with high affinity but form sterically unfavorable interactions such as the acyl enzyme. Avibactam and Relibactam work by this method. And number two, they may also become suicide inhibitors which permanently inactivate the enzyme through secondary chemical reactions in the active site. Clavulanic acid, Sulbactam and Tazobactam work by this process. The Ambler classification system groups all the known beta-lactamase enzymes into four groups that is class A, B, C and D according to sequence homology and phylogenetic relationships. Classes A, C and D cleave beta-lactams by a multi-step mechanism analogous to the mechanism of serine proteases. Upon binding, a serine hydroxyl group in the beta-lactamase active site forms a transient covalent bond to the beta-lactam ring carbonyl group, cleaving the beta-lactam ring in the process. In a second step, nucleophilic attack by a water molecule cleaves the covalent bond between the enzyme and the carbonyl group of the erstwhile beta-lactam. This allows the degraded beta-lactam to diffuse away and freeze up the enzyme to process additional beta-lactam molecules. Currently available beta-lactamase inhibitors are effective against Ambler class A beta-lactamases for example Tazobactam, Clavulanate and Sulbactam or against Ambler class A, C and some class D beta-lactamases for example Avibactam. Like beta-lactam antibiotics, they are processed by beta-lactamases to form an initial covalent intermediate. Unlike the case of beta-lactam antibiotics, the inhibitors act as suicide substrates for example tazobactam and sulbactam which ultimately leads to the degradation of beta-lactamase. Avibactam on the other hand does not contain a beta-lactam ring that is a non-beta-lactam beta-lactamase inhibitor and instead binds reversibly. Ambler class B beta-lactamases cleave beta-lactams by a mechanism similar to that of metalloproteases. As no covalent intermediate is formed, the mechanism of action of marketed beta-lactamase inhibitors is not applicable. Medicinal uses of beta-lactamase inhibitors The most important use of beta-lactamase inhibitors is in the treatment of infections caused by gram-negative bacteria as beta-lactamase production is an important contributor to beta-lactamase resistance in these pathogens. In contrast, most beta-lactam resistance in gram-positive bacteria is due to variations in penicillin binding proteins that lead to reduced binding to the beta-lactam. The gram-positive pathogen Staphylococcus aureus produces beta-lactamases but beta-lactamase inhibitors play a lesser role in the treatment of these infections because the most resistant strains that is methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus also use variant penicillin-binding proteins. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the beta-lactamase inhibitors. In the next lesson, we will learn about the aminoglycosides. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.